How's it going? Brooks Gibbs here uh, at the Dawson McAllister Studios, and he asked me to make a little video for his tribe. You guys are awesome, and I know you're always looking to help young people who are struggling, and uh, Dawson is kind of our leader who shows us how to do that. Now, uh, Dawson uh, wanted me to answer this simple question, is how do you disarm a bully? And I know some of you tribe members are uh, gonna have someone in your life where they're gonna ask you that question. How do I disarm a bully, or how, to get, how do I get a bully off my back? Now, here's some simple advice that you can give them that works like absolute magic. Um, if you want to get a bully to basically shut up and leave you alone, uh, you have to understand that he's just, he's just trying to play a game with you. He's trying to hurt your feelings. He's trying to get you upset. And if your feelings get hurt, then that's exactly what, that's what he wants to do. You see, bullies are not bullies to try to make your day awesome. Bullies are bullies because they want to ruin your day. They're mean to you because they want you to feel like a loser. They're not trying to give you good feelings inside. They're trying to hurt your feelings. Tribe members, you know this. And so explain that to a person that's struggling. Just saying, ask him this question. When he calls you names or when she excludes you from her little cool group, is she trying to make your day awesome or ruin your day? The person's gonna say, ruin my day. And then you could ask him, Are, is she trying to make you feel like a winner or a loser? She's trying to make me feel like a loser. That's right, so why would you play her game? Why would you give her the satisfaction of ruining your day, making you feel like a loser, and evoking out of you hateful, angry thoughts? Don't give her that satisfaction. No, man, don't get upset. No matter what she says, don't get upset. Don't take the bait. She's trying to hurt your feelings. Well, then they're gonna ask you, well, what do I do? And if she's mean to me, what do I do? I wanna be mean back. Just say, don't be mean back, dude. Don't be mean back. That's what she's expecting. Instead, be nice back. You see, if you don't get upset and you're nice to her, that'll freak her out and she'll leave you the heck alone. You see, bullying is a game, much like, uh, well, much like those nickel slots in Vegas. You put a nickel in, you pull a lever, and if, it, if like all the little like three symbols line up, ding, 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 all this money comes out. And so if there's a payout of this machine, other people will want to play this machine. People will gather around and have a blast. But once this little little machine stops paying out and none of the symbols kind of line up, no matter how many times people you know pull the lever, it doesn't pay out cash. And if it doesn't pay out cash, people are going to avoid it and not want to touch it or you know mess with it or anything like that. Bullying is the same way. Bullies will bully you if you're paying out anger and hatred. That's the payoff for them. They want to see you upset. And so if you keep getting upset, they're gonna keep messing with you. But the day you decide not to get upset and treat everyone nice, like a friend, then they're gonna to wanna to avoid you like the plague and they'll tell their friends, don't mess with that person because you're not getting upset, you're no fun. You take the fun out of the game that they're playing. So that's how you help someone struggling. And tribe members, you need to practice it. Don't just teach it, practice it in your own life so that you have credibility when you teach someone else. For support, always point people to the awesome resource website, thehopeline.com. I'm Brooks Gibbs. Thanks for listening.